Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to tomorrow. So there's lots of equipment that's being tested right now at different NASA facilities around the country and this will be enabling a lot of future space travel. So that's some of the stuff that I wanted to talk about today for this, your space pod for November 17th, 2015. So first off, Orbital ATK is getting ready to launch their Cygnus cargo freighter to the International Space Station on December 3rd. That's the tentative date for launch anyway. And with this launch, since they had a failure last October, they will be launching on top of an Atlas V rocket. That Atlas V rocket has already arrived at Kennedy Space Center and is being prepared for that launch. Right now, the Cygnus cargo freighter is still going through lots of preparations and, and testing and will soon be put inside of the Atlas V fairing adapter. And then once all the different pieces are assembled together, then they will be ready to launch. On this mission, there will be a couple of firsts for Orbital ATK. Their Cygnus cargo freighter is actually going to be an extended version of their Cygnus freighter. And with that, they'll be able to pack a lot more supplies inside. Also, the service module has been updated and will feature new solar panels as well. So hopefully everything goes well with this mission and they're able to continue in this sort of way to be able to complete their CRS contracts. Moving on to other equipment that has arrived, the new European service module is getting ready for testing. A new structural test article has been sent to NASA's Plum Brook station to be able to go through rigorous you know, vibration testing and other tests to make sure that everything is up to spec with the European service module. This service module will be used for the Orion crew capsule in the future. The first time that the European service module will be used with the Orion in space is on Exploration Mission 1 which is the uncrewed flight around the moon and hopefully everything goes well with that and hopefully it will still take off in 2018. There's a lot of different factors riding on that but hopefully everything goes well. Now moving over to Russia, Roscosmos announced on Saturday that they were going to be delaying the next launch of their Progress spacecraft. And this is actually a new Progress spacecraft. It's called the Progress-MS, which is an upgrade over the Progress-M spacecraft. And they didn't cite a reason as to why the launch is going to be delayed. It's going to be delayed one month. It was set for November 21st and now is going to be hopefully launching on December 21st. And with this, it probably has something to do with the fact that they are planning on launching this on a Soyuz 2 rocket. Since the last time they launched on a Soyuz 2, there was the failure with that where the upper stage collided with the third stage and they weren't able, to, the, the whole spacecraft went into a tumble and they weren't able to recover it. So hopefully the, uh, this is why there, there's this delay to figure out if that problem has been solved and whether or not they're going to have problems like that again for the future. And since this is the first time that the Progress MS spacecraft will be launching, they especially want to make sure that everything goes right. Meanwhile, another Russian space company, Energia, has announced that they've patented an idea for an inflatable space module. And this is not quite like Bigelow's inflatable space modules, but it is really similar. It would use the same sort of service module that flies on the Soyuz and Progress spacecraft. And just the idea for this actually looks really cool. And if they do this in the future, then it would make a great addition to the International Space Station or their future idea for the OPSEC space station or even to be used on the Chinese space station. So hopefully that this actually does get built. But as of right now, this is just a paper idea and it's just a patent, but I still think it's pretty cool. So that's awesome. Probably the only other piece of equipment that I wanted to mention that's being tested right now is that the OSIRIS-REx probe's construction has been completed and it will be undergoing lots of testing over the next year until it launches in 2016. And this probe hopefully will be really cool. This could be the first asteroid sample return mission for the United States. So this is a, a really cool probe that hopefully will do some really cool stuff in the future and it's getting closer to launch as well. So lots of cool cool stuff is being prepared right now to launch into space and I hope that every single one of these missions goes off without a hitch. So anyway, I would like to know what you guys think about all this different hardware that's being prepared to fly into space. And I'd especially like to know what you guys think about this whole idea of an inflatable space station module that Russia has patented. I think it's a really cool idea and I hope that they move forward with it, but I really want to know what you guys think. 
Also, if you're willing and able, please consider contributing to our Patreon campaign so that we can make these space pods self-sustainable. Ben was talking about possibly stopping space pods if they don't get up to the level that we need for these to continue. And if we do stop doing these space pods, then I might have some surprises for you in the future. But in the meantime, if you guys can, then please visit our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash space pod and get us up to the level we need to keep these self-sustainable and to continue doing these in the future so thank you so much to everyone who's been contributing and hopefully we can get it to the level that we need thank you very much for watching this video my name is Michael Clark and hopefully you know a little bit more today than you did yesterday thanks to tomorrow keep moving onwards and upwards everybody and I will see you in the future